All right, all you lovers of pasta, gather here. You will never, never resist this. This is vegetable pasta that I made with different combo. These are just a few ingredients. We are going to start with the maize beef. So the maize beef, I'm going to be adding some spices. I added white pepper. I'll go ahead and add some uh, powder there, garlic. Next is to add some spices in it. And also salt that is just all the next thing is to mix them very well to combine thoroughly you want all those uh, ingredients or spices that you added to get into the mice beef very well that will make it to test nicely when you finish uh, frying them so after this i'm going to spray some olive oil in my palms this is to avoid the mice beef to stick in your finger or in your palm next is to roll it to your desirable sizes this is how i want them to be and they are all done so here aside i'm going to spray some olive oil to my pot and go ahead to drop the mice ball or the meat ball that i have already uh, marinated with some spices after that you are going to allow this to brown don't allow it to cook so much because you are going to stay added into your pasta to cook for at least like eh, three minutes so this is the perfect browning that i want to get i'll go ahead and add some shrimps in them as well don't skip this you will definitely like it now they are all cooked i'm going to take them off from the heat we're going to add egg yes i'm uh going to scramble some egg three eggs of course to make the spaghetti so filling i'll go ahead and scramble until they are well done i'll take them off having so much oil in the egg is not a nice idea so i noticed that the oil that is in it was much i'm going to press them and they will come out and you will still use the oil to continue frying your pepper mix and after taking out the oil this is exactly how it is looking very nice go ahead and fry your mixed pepper this is a combination of green red and habanero pepper with some onions as well i'm going to saute them for like a uh, three minutes and go ahead and add my tomato fritter this is a blended tomato but it came in a can is not really concentrated i'm going to stir them and allow them to fry at least for five minutes when it have this consistency or color it is well fry i'll go ahead and add salt and add my herbs and also garlic powder that's for salt if you need you add i'm going to add a soya sauce and this is the one without gluten this is how it is looking at this point and it's looking very nice stir them very well and go ahead and add some veggies if you want to add i'm going to add it now because i don't want them to be so cooked i want them to be crunchy in the uh, pasta while i'm eating it first is to add carrot after that i'll go ahead with bring a uh, bell pepper and red bell pepper i'll also add mushroom to this in fact add any desirable or any choice of your veggies anyone that you like add it in there because this pasta is wide we are making white pasta here <laughs> So you don't want to cook those vegetables so soft as i said earlier after like one or two minutes of steaming you'll go ahead and add the meatballs and shrimp stir them very well to combine and also pour in the scrambled egg that i made earlier i'll pour them in now and stir everything to combine to marinate in the stew and it's almost ready look at how good they are looking at this point i wanted to eat it as sauce along with white rice or with uh, the spaghetti but i could not i have to continue because all i am preparing here is a uh, one pot spaghetti so this is the spaghetti i'll be using or the pasta it is wide mild and soft one it is not heavy one you can get it in any shop of your choice and they use a uh, what do they really use to make it there's a tomato and the spinach that is that is why it's having that color and i will be cooking it for just one and a half minute because the time cooking of this is three minutes in total so i cooked it about it with water for like one and a half minute then 
transfer them to the sauce and add some pasta water stir them carefully yes stir them very nice and carefully to combine together and our pasta is almost ready yes it is ready this is how it's looking everything you can see that the vegetable they are still looking fresh especially the mushroom i tested and i needed salt and that is it our white pasta is ready varieties and the obstacle in it are so good so here i am trying to dish them out with two fork it was really a mess so <laughs> I didn't want to add my spaghetti in a fork, the biggest one, because I'm careful not to ruin my pot. So this is how it's looking at end. This is for me and hobby. We are going to be enjoying it. Everything tasted so good, especially with the pasta that I use. I didn't use the strong one. I used the soft and, you know, should I say soft or they said this is so light. Yeah, it's very light. It's not heavy. And everything came out where I also uh, made more vegetables to go along with it. And it is very nice. Hope to give this recipe a try. You will definitely like it. Give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye.